Today, we're gonna talk about rubbers. Oh, giggity, 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 giggity. Not that kind of rubbers. These kinds of rubbers. Tires, so all the four-year-olds can stop laughing, are the most important thing to winterizing your scooter if, like me, you ride all year long in all weather conditions. Now, saying that the stock tires that come on the ST are not bad, it's like saying that pneumonia is not that bad compared to tuberculosis. Sure, they work fine on dry road surfaces, dry tarmac, but give them the smallest hint of water and you will need a change of pants quicker than a teenager clears his browser history when his mom wants to use the computer. Now, this is not Sim's fault. In order to bring scooters to market at an affordable price, you have to cut costs somewhere. And premium tires are expensive. The CSTs that come standard on this Symphony ST are Good enough for 99% of the riders who ride only when the weather is warm outside, it's dry, they ride only on tarmac. But I'm not one of those riders. I ride all year long in all weather conditions, in the hot, in the cold, in the rain, in the sun. And that is why I have upgraded my ST, that you can see here, to the Michelin City Grip 2 tires, which may just be the best scooter tire out on the market right now. First of all, let's look at the tread pattern. We can see the Michelin comes with much larger siphoning channels that are tapered off at the end to give the water a much more natural flow as it's evacuated from underneath the tire. Also, you have this, these cutouts here, which Michelin calls shark teeth. Now, these bite into the tarmac, especially when you're leaned over into a corner, giving the tire a lot more mechanical grip this way. Compare that to the stock CST tires, which has none of that. Secondly, let's look at the tire profile. If we look at the stock CST tire, we see that the profile reminds us pretty much of Taylor Swift. Yikes. Now, if we look at the Michelin, we can see that it has more of a Jennifer Lopez to it. Ay caramba, indeed! Now, this rounder profile means that they're lighter to turn in. On the old tires, when you turn into a corner, you have to push the handlebar just that little bit. But being a much more rounded profile means that what you have to do to get it into a corner is just light on the handlebars, lean it in and it just holds its line beautifully. And even if we want to take it faster, just lean it in. It's so easy to lean in to a corner once you get used to it. The first initial impression is that the handlebars are heavy. That's because you are used to turning them. But here you don't have to turn them. You still want to turn them because that's what you're used to. But here you just have to lean into the corner and just stand on the side of the tire. So why does the CST make the tire profile more rounded like the Michelin? Well, that brings me on to my third point. If we look on the Symphony, this Symphony ST, this has the same tire as this one. The only difference is the mounted one is inflated and this is deflated. You see how big of a difference there is? That's because the plies that hold the tire together are much weaker on the CST than they are on the Michelin. And that's why Michelin can get away with a much more rounded profile to the tire. What this means is that the tire deforms at higher speeds, say above 50 kilometers an hour, leading to excessive wheel wobble. But the Michelins being stronger, they hold their shape a lot better. Meaning that if you take your hands off the handlebars, even bumps, Nothing, that's straight. We can change lanes, we can control the scooter just with our the weight of our body. Another point to the Michelin comes when we talk about the sidewall. The Michelin tire from here to here, which is considered the sidewall, has a much more tougher sidewall than the CST does. You can see it flex. Whereas this one, 
you can barely move it. What that means is that when you lean into a corner, the rim which is here and the weight of the scooter pushes this way on the sidewall. And if you hit a bump, the tire will go like this, but the rim would go down. That will give you a hard stopping moment because you feel like it's about to slide. When in reality, it's not sliding, it's just the tire flexing on the rim. With the thicker sidewall, it gives you great confidence when you take corners at high speed. Because the scooter has a better sure footness, even on bumps, if you hit a bump mid-corner, there's nothing to it. You don't feel that sudden moment when the back end wants to break loose. It just gives you a sure-footed feeling. It's very, very confidence inspiring. And lastly, one of the most important things when it comes to tires, it's something that you can't see, and that is the tire compound. Now, even touching them here, I can feel which one has more grip. This is a more stickier rubber, but how is it stickier even in the cold weather? Because this is absolutely horrible in cold weather or on wet surfaces. Well, this is great in hot weather, but when it gets cold or when it gets wet, it's still absolutely perfect. That's because of the high concentration of silica in the rubber compound. Now, why doesn't CST put silica in their tires? Well, that's because silica is very expensive and it's not that easy to engineer a tire compound with a lot of silica in it. But the benefits of high silica concentrations are excellent grip in all weathers and all temperatures and also long lasting tires. On my previous ST, I had a set of Michelin City Grip 2s. The rear one lasted 27,000 kilometers and the front one was still halfway at 27,000 kilometers. So at 27,000, I only changed the rear tire and the front one was ready for another 20, 20, 20 25, 27,000 kilometers, something like that. It was about halfway through its life. Also, this being a premium tire and Michelin having the budget to engineer a more complex compound. You have more plastic in the middle of the tire, giving you better lifespan because most of the time you ride straight, but a higher concentration of natural rubber and silica on the sides of the tire. So when you lean over, you have the grip. When you're going straight, you have the low rolling resistance and you get high mileage out of them. And that is the problem with budget tires. Budget tire manufacturers know how to do a good tire, they just don't have the budget to do it. People that are looking for budget tires don't wanna pay between 60 and 100 euros for something like this. They wanna pay 20, 30 euros. The only problem is you're missing out on a whole lot of grip and a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of safety for that matter. Now, I am in no position to say that the Michelin City Grip 2 is the best scooter tire on the market at the moment. But what I can say is that this is the second set of Michelin City Grip 2 tires, which I have bought with my own money and put on my own scooter, which I ride all year round in all weather conditions. Until next time, guys, take care out there and ride safe. Bye.